how it plays steel town. Let's start off with Bruce's intro. Quite an aggressive sound. <laughs> simple just uh, two strings the G and the B string second fret and you're going up to the third fret and the fifth fret <laughs> now while Bruce is playing that Stuart he's got a mellower sound he's on the neck pickup and he's playing a straightforward F sharp minor up here <laughs> then he's playing a D9 which means it's like a D major type chord. Instead of having that note, you've got that one there. Second time we've got this, the high E note. Then it's just a pair of strings. It's the D at the 7th fret and the G at the 9th fret. That's that, and Bruce is going. Right, so what I'll do is I'll continue on Bruce's part behind the sort of main riff, which also sits behind the first part of the uh, verses. So it's probably easier if you watch it very closely rather than tell you all the fret positions and so on. But you're playing in pairs of strings. And you're doing what's called pick, what I like to call it pick rolling when you're. So it's a D string open. Uh, the G string second fret, move up two frets, and another two frets, and then this time, the third time you're going. So you're just. And the next time it's. Now that's the open D, and the G string at the 11th fret. And down to here. D string, 9th fret, and the G in the 7th fret. Then the G up to the 9th and back. Then the D on the 7th fret, G on the 6th fret. Then you're bringing in the A string on the 9th fret. So the whole thing is... Okay, now... Well, Bruce is playing that, Stuart's playing something quite similar on the low notes, but he's staying around these lower frets. Uh, he's got a neck pickup sound, so I'm going to switch again. So what Stuart's doing is... So it's all just pairs of fifths. So open D, G on the second fret. <laughs> it sounds out. So you're just coming down to the uh, that uh, F sharp note on its own. And you're playing that twice and that's the first part of the verse. The second part of the verse is where it gets interesting so I'll do Bruce's bit first. Bruce is just playing some bar chords up top here but there's a nice little bit of articulation on it. So the first one here I guess that's an F sharp F sharp minor seventh. You're not really hearing this note coming through. Okay, you can actually play it there. I'll play that open A because that's kind of in key of the song. But uh, it seems to be a full bar chord, but that note's almost muted. Okay, so the first chord is. Yep, so it's this uh, F sharp minor 7. Then you bring in the high E note. And then that there, it's, uh, I guess it's an E7. You're not really hearing much of that note, but it's. Uh, Second part is up to here. Well, I guess that's a ooh, that's a B minor seventh, then an A nine, so that there just an E bar E chord, twelfth fret. Back to here again. And while he's doing that, Stuart's playing this, which is uh, got his trademark open notes and 
drone notes and so on. Uh, so there's quite a lot going on here. So I'll try and I'll try and it's probably easier to watch it rather than explain it uh, with all the fret numbers uh, as I mentioned earlier. So watch very carefully. It's almost like a passing, you're not really hearing it very much, but it's definitely there. So speed up a bit. That bit when I'm going. I'm playing both the D and the G string, the 14th fret, to get that A minor chord. Um, so that's pretty simple um, once you get the hang of it. The chorus is just straightforward chords. Uh, Bruce and Stuart are playing something very similar, but Stuart's playing his chords down here, whereas Bruce is playing them up there, so they kind of blend. You get a sort of wider sound. That's uh, pretty much a trademark. So Stuart's playing this. That's his ninth chords again. F sharp minor, E9, and D9. Okay, so now what, uh, what you need to look out for is it's going by quite quickly. So as soon as you finish, you get into position for the next chord. Save yourself some time. So that's just repeated um, for the chorus. And Bruce is playing some very similar, but he's away up here at the 14th and 12th frets. So if you learn all these bits, you'll be able to play the entire tune in both parts.